Okay, this is the deck to my $100 lawnmower. And uh, I've decided I'm gonna take everything off of it and sand, uh, sand it down, rebuild it, paint it, replace bearings that need replacing. Uh, I got a pulley. Hold on one second. Let me turn the screen around. I have a pulley here that's missing and a spring that goes from here to here. And uh, I went online to Cupcadet's own website and even they don't have, have this deck. They have three decks for the 1045 lawnmower, but they don't have this deck. So, uh, and the lawnmower was built in 2006 according to the sticker. So I'm just going to have to kind of play it by ear. Uh, this belt is the wrong belt because uh, there was uh, a pulley missing. So I don't even know what the what what the length of the belt is. Uh, I do have a number for the belt that's on the lawnmower, so uh, I'll have to cross reference that and see what the length is. But uh, I'm fixing to start I'm taking everything off. I'm going to take apart the spindles that are that appear good and see what the bearings actually look like and uh, this one I know I need bearings maybe more maybe a whole spindle I don't know yet but uh, I'm gonna do this upright Okay, this is the uh, bearing mandrel with a bad bearing, and I want to show you <clears throat> how bad it is. See them bits and pieces and chunks? It's uh, it's beyond bad. <laughs> it's totally destroyed, and it's a good thing it didn't ruin any of the rest of the mandrel, because now all I have to replace is that one bearing. Because here's the other bearing, and I'm going to tell you a little something about it. These bearings can be replaced. See the numbers on those bearings? They can match these up at an auto parts store, at a bearing place over in Shreveport. They have bearing service and supply. So you can just replace these bearings and not the whole bearing mandrel. So you can spend, uh, you know, 10, 12 bucks versus 50 or 60. But I want to, I want you to notice something here. Now this bearing mandrel has grease fittings, but they're absolutely useless because this bearing has a seal, this rubber seal right, right here on both sides. So the grease, no matter how hard you pump, the grease is not going to get into these bearings. And uh, I've checked the other two. They're the same way, the other two bearing mandrels. So what I do is I pop this grease cover off, this seal, I pop it off. Whichever faces the inside, if this is the bottom one, and facing up, 
I take uh, off this side and if this is the top one facing down I take off the the side that is facing inside towards the grease fitting that way you actually get grease up into the bearings ridiculous that's ridiculous all right I uh, thought uh, thought I'd thought I'd show that to you so uh, now what I'm gonna do is take take this bearing over to O'Reilly's and see if they can match that number for me if they can't Monday I'll have to go over to Shreveport and uh, pick up one bearing and that's all that's bad is that top bearing uh, the rest of these I'm gonna soak them in parts cleaner get them all cleaned up nice and uh, grease them back up pull the seal pull the little seals off that that ought to be not there anyway and uh, and then I'm gonna probably sandblast this deck and repaint it Cub Cadet yellow all right Oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> this pulley, the teeth broke out of it. It has these, uh, the shaft that goes in here has splines and they fit through. Yeah, you just, there's nowhere I can get it to, uh, they're wore out. And this is, this is what happens. When you leave a lawnmower like this exposed to the rain, or when you wash it down and you let water sit on here, it goes right to work eating it away. When you buy a lawnmower and leave it exposed to the weather, you're, you've cut its life in half or less. Please, if you spend a thousand bucks on a lawnmower, keep it in out of the rain. Take a little bit of care for it. I mean, if you just grease the bearings once a year, you'd get double the life out of the thing and change the oil and filters okay end of rant I'm gonna get back to work alright this is the one with a bad bearing and uh, I'm gonna try to get a punch in here <coughs> and uh, knock that bearing out of there Hold on. I got a grease seal in here that. There we go. All right, now I can get to it. It is slowly coming out. I don't want to damage the race. The race is where the bearing sits in. There we go. I'm going to show you that bearing real close now. Completely fell apart. And long after it really needed it the seal in here came off that's what I pulled out of there all right next I'm gonna go go get a go get a bearing and some paint just wanted to give you a peek at it before I do any more work I really had to grind a lot of rust off of it and all the bearing mandrels all three of them I've got disassembled cleaned up uh, I went ahead and painted the tops of them put them back on there uh, I need one bearing and I can reassemble everything and get them all greased up and I actually went today to look for them but uh, all the places that would have bearings close at noon so it'll have to be Monday alright I'm making progress that's it for today